Okay, then. hello there, everybody, and welcome. Uh, today, PlayStation Plus had a state of play, right? And I didn't get to check it out because I was late, and I found out about it late. So I'm gonna just see all the games or the ones that look interesting to me, highlights, and then yeah, we'll just go off there. Let's see. All right, Street Fighter does look fire, though. I do want to play. Looks, looks, looks crazy. Is this just showing like three different people? I guess I'm not showing anything that different. I, if I was to play this game, right, I wouldn't play him because I feel like he's too heavy. I feel like he'd be heavy and slow. Sure, he might do a lot of damage, but he's he's mad heavy. Damn, bro, caught a trick. Dang. I feel like he's a grab heavy character. Your eyes. I What's call you? upon you, great wind. Toino Ikonoi, spirit of the wind. Hold on. Let yourself. Become one with it. It's her only way of attacking with those like things. I don't know what they're called, those sword things. Damn. I like the little colored paint rush that they got going on. That's fire. Damn. You know what would have also been a little cool if they added like when when you did moves like this, they had like little X-ray cuttings like they do in Mortal Kombat. Like they got the paintbrush and then they got the X-ray cutting. Or it just shows his spine breaking. I feel like that'd be cool, but I don't know how it would play with this game. Ooh. But not. The one we're looking for. Damn, wrong target. Damn. 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 What the hell? That was random. Is that like an emo or like after game finish? Oh, that's clean as fuck. Damn. I don't know if that was my guy's knees or back, but maybe both. Another mission awaits. Damn, can I come along? God damn. Battle hub. I didn't grow That did look fire though. So they introduced three more characters that will be coming on June 23. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Street Fighter was one of the games that looks interesting and that I wanted to play. So they also introduced Suicide Squad to the Justice League. It's a co-op game. So Oh you know what? Hold on a sec. This flash looks fire. Hello, Brainiac. Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. An evil flash that's clean as fuck. You want Luther? All you have to do is, is die. Come and get him. Ooh. Oh, bro, an evil and evil. Oh, that's clean. An evil. An evil flash is crazy. Uh, they all dying. The flash out of there. Deadshot cool too. I feel like Deadshot would be the only person I would really want to play. Task 
I don't really care about Harley or the other people. Flash is alive. And he has Luther. One damn thing at a time. That shot would be cool. That artillery is gonna wreak havoc on our front line. I hope it's not like uh, snowball, that one of the that just came out that nobody liked. I didn't get a play though. Probably will when it comes to PlayStation yeah. first. Where the uh, snowball. extra. Time to light them all up. <laughs> oh, that's clean. Oh shit, okay, that's clean. Is that counting? Cause I know people will complain about counting. And they're not working right in the last game. Who's that? That shot? No, that's not that shot. I like the way he plays. Actually, I like the teleporting. I don't know about the shooting. Cause I, that, that leap off the building was fine. I'm, I'm not sure about like shooting these. Like I like putting my hands on people, right? That shot, but but then again, I said I picked that shot. I don't care about Shark Dude. I don't know what Shark Dude is all about. But this dude right here, the teleporting dude is fire. Yeah, him. I don't know his name. Ooh, sniping people like that? Bro, taking them out of here. Okay. Is it gonna be mostly shooter base? Send this chopper flying! Roger that Quinn. Eyes up. We got more company. Go, Shark Go. Shark Go. You kinda had a whole smash thing going on. Senseless violence. Love it. Hail that weak spot, squad. No worries. Giant mines all over the place. His mobility is fire. I like that. That was cool. Yo, come on, show me some more stuff with this shot. I hope I'm saying his name right. Shark dude. And then Harley Quinn. There's a lot going on. Okay. Oh, shot. What was that? Did he throw like a bomb? I love our escapades. The fight, the game looks far, but it looks like it looks like I feel like like when I see this, I'm thinking like the other game. You know, like the Batman game and then that other game. I can't think of the name right now, but that game, right? But like, it's not like, it's just shooting from afar. You don't get the same feeling of like hitting combos and shit, right? Luther? What's that? It is so how the whole taking down Damn. the flash thing go? Still in play? Can't get out of my way. I have work to do. Bitch almost died. Well, hey there, sleepyhead. We've got an interrogation Ooh. to get back to. Yeah. You what, what did they think was gonna happen? You guys think you guys could shoot the flash? You think I'm just gonna let you walk away? and tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop us? Yeah. Pathetic. Pathetic? At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman. <laughs> okay, Boomerang. Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll Be show you. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are helpless. You could teleport, but you're not the Flash. No, took out all the oxygen. Who did that? Wonder Woman? Why is, one, why is Wonder Woman always the one that breaks shit up? Like, in Batman vs. Superman, I'm pretty sure she's the one who stops it. Like, how is she never the one getting controlled? Like, somebody 
Control her. How do I stop this? <laughs> Please tell me how. You have to kill us, Diana. Kill the Flash, Batman, and Superman? We have to die to save the world. Oh, that was interesting. Let's see the next one. It's kind of it's behind the oh. scenes. Why not? See if we could get Show some more info. <laughs> Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going? And who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope the fans like about Rocksteady, but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've All right, the game I was talking about was Gotham Knights. We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but through the eyes of the villains. But the villains are ass. We're picking Batman's up the story cool. five years after I mean, the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. I don't care about time. shark dudes. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. Oh, Brainiac? He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city. But Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very Green people Lantern. they've been sworn to protect. Oh, fuck, it's Superman! So the Justice League share the same goal as Brainiac to take over Earth and turn it into the new Kalu. What we've created is a classic Justice League, but with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now doing Brainiac's bidding, and Amanda Waller scrambles to try to uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. And she recruits our four lovable characters into fighting the Justice League in an effort to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. Who is you? Members of the Suicide Squad. I don't know who that is. Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Boomerang. Deadshot, Deadshot Fire. and King Shark. Don't care about Harley Quinn is definitely the most acrobatic of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind what of would she be more and, and acrobatic trying to keep that momentum Captain going Boomerang. and use that to go over or he could, buildings or swing under bridges teleport. and chain that into kind of the, the grapple I mean, I guess because she's lighter, It just huh? feels spot on. Damn. I'm a freaking superstar. Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a rocksteady twist. He's got a real swagger to him. And in this game, he can also hover with his jetpack. He's That's super cool. precise. He uses sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols. And they all fit with his sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin. Master assassin, bro. All he's doing is get the hell out of this mess. King Shark, to me, as, as a person, is, well, as a fish is this incredible character who's super well read and super well to do and i'm sure could smash an operatic performance actually I'm no, a looks like a weaker hook. Oh. it is my oh. shame That's to it. suffer more oh. than their buffoonery oh. but also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on i think that's brilliant in terms of combat he is a brute he is a yeah. tank character he can take more damage his abilities all lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal he's the fastest melee character Captain Fastest Boomerang is his uh, really. speed force gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and speed force to that point along the walls. Uh, along see, the that's floor. why I don't get why Hardy would be the most. Go. You can use that to get up close, dodge around in mid air, taking out the enemies, and then scarper because he, he doesn't want to stick around. Don't worry, guys, I'm here. One of the most exciting parts that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. Piss off, Widow. You have Penguin, the arms stealer. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack, who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate the world but also upgrade their neck bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike and a nice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the Toy squad man. with perfecting gear. No, fuck out of here. And then finally, we have Gizmo, who is helping the squad with insane vehicle creations that let you blow shit up. Oh. 
Metropolis is your playground. You're gonna get to meet different characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean, it's very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So there is a lot of statues to thank Superman for everything he's done for the city. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villains' eyes. You're getting to experience this world and traverse through this world as the villains. Greetings, Metropolis! So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves, and the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing, working out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks, Damn. and how to use them all to your best advantage Bro, maybe to an control alien, the but chaos like and come out victorious. What's what awesome about gunplay is the variety. So there's six core types of weapon families. We've got assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety from weapon manufacturers. There's LexCorp weapons, there's GCPD weapons, there's Armortech weapons. I know it's meant to be like a shooter-based game. I don't know how you guys feel, but I, I personally don't know about shooter-based games, bro. Like, like shooter-based solos, like story mode games, which I guess it also has co-op, but you get what I'm trying to say. I don't know, bro. Because it's all about the combos, bro. Can, can I hit like a crazy gun? Gun combo? No, I all I can do is take out my sniper and one shot him in the hand and then bro's gone. I mean that's fire as fuck. But like it feels like you don't get the feeling if you get what I'm trying to say. Weapons later on in that's the game it, we also have gear sets. The gear sets are villain themed. For example, if you have a Bane gear set and you trigger his Ooh. buffs in the game, that's some dope. of it will have the Bane drown. So you will be like Bane, Bane and like boom, Bane boom, boom, and then there's like green smoke and you trigger all kind of effects. So you're basically taking the essence of the villain, you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as that number goes up, it means that you can take on much harder missions. They may have the same Midnight Sun, or not Midnight Sun. Midnight Sun came out, right? More and more ways to customize your I don't know, I haven't seen really nothing on Midnight Sun. But Every firearm in our game nice. is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, you're gonna get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need um, to complete your missions, but most that importantly, cool. you will be able to customize your squad that, to be whatever you like. Woman, you can that. wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around in your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score ever. Oh, I like that. I love that. I love it. They always got to do that in games from now on. I hate when your gear set doesn't come with a customizable one because there's always like the main one. Like, you want to have the best fit, but also have the best gear. I hate it when games have it, so, like, the best fit isn't always the best gear. But, and you can't use the best fit as the best gear, and vice versa. But I like that. Our game That's is cool. a one to four player co op experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or three friends. For the single player fans, you can play in single player with Damn. bots filling in the role of the squad so you still Damn. feel like you're part of a team. And you can switch them if you want. I'm going to try King Shark now, uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission, so I'm going to switch over and we're going to try her out. But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four lets you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how you can all play together in That's different crazy. play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice League. Ooh. See, oh, I'm saying that's fire as fuck, right? It's not it's fire. When the story's but... done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after its launch. So we're going to deliver these... lots of new yeah, content see? to our players. We're going to have new playable characters, new weapons, new, and new missions. Really. For players who like to customize their looks, we'll offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic battle items. Pass. This... Battle pass. In a solo player game. That's, that's weird. I... I mean, I guess it's solo story mode, but I guess co-op, right? Depending on how they do the battle pass, if they do it like Fortnite, like a Fortnite battle pass, Rocket League battle pass, that's cool. You better be able to get the currency for from that battle pass. Like, you want people to play your game, right? 
And nah. This is gonna be so I much fun for to enjoy. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Let's Justice see. League. Oh, if no. you like story games, if you like RPG elements, if you like co-op games, if you like customizing your characters, if you wanna play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very fast paced, it's really colorful, it's loud and unapologetic and in your face and it's gonna be really, really fun. Hey Metropolis, do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that dial or I'll break your fingers. Can I play as Evil Flash? 052623. It's actually pretty close to coming out. Huh? Let's see. I wanna check some of the comments real quick. Battle pass check, looter, shooter mechanics check, gear score check, damage numbers check, minus hack and slice check, well done, rock steady, everything in the game community just loves about triple A live service titles. Is he being sarcastic? It's also always online. So would you rather they don't have any builds and just play the same boring mechanics you started? I'd rather they do it like Arkham and have you become the most powerful by unlocking everything. Builds are just artificial inflation of playtime. When we're complaining about Elden Ring, don't complain about this Destiny 2. The studios not realize that they that there are there can only be so many live service games until there's too much. Now every game needs to be designed around around sucking up as much free time as possible. That's what I was saying, the rock. Rockstar, RP Rockstar, you always remain in the heart. These gaming companies never learn. It's like they don't even follow what's going on in the industry. Like, Battle Pass, I don't know why they added the Battle Pass. Sh shooter mechanics, I, I, I like, I don't know, bro. Damage numbers, I guess. I don't know about Mindless Hack and Slash, but I guess it, it does. I, I'm saying I don't know how I feel about it right now. Mm. Builds is cool. You could have builds, so then you could have different type of gears. You could have like a fire damage build, a light, a stun build, uh, stuff like that. That's this is fine. Damage numbers to know how much damage you're doing is fine. Uh, gear score, I guess that would be fine. I don't really care about gear score. Like these three are fine. Mindless hack and slash will get annoying sooner or later. Uh, brutal shooter mechanics. I'm more into like combos right like in the game they showed you shooting right but you can't really combo like shooting and fighting now at least not as much right because it's like you got to blow up this big purple thing basically and battle pass i don't get why they added the battle pass in this i mean sure but it's probably not going to be a good battle pass like how i expect like a fortnite battle pass you gotta make a, you gotta make a good battle pass for people that actually want to play it but hey, can I believe these guys are? These are the guys who made the best Batman games. No wonder Hill left the company. Last service garbage agents of mayhem will fell even more badly than Clark and Gotham Clark. Oh, man. So this game's called Agents of Mayhem? Hmm. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, he, he was using an reference. Okay, then. Hold on. Has anybody seen anything about this game? Midnight Suns? Like, I, like, I watch gaming YouTubers, right? I watch people who play games, record games, and nobody has brought this up. When does it drop? And this dude right here, right? Game ranks, they usually do it before you buy. And then that means it, the game drops. The game dropped, and I didn't hear nothing about this game. I was just curious. This, I was interested in this because I like anime. And Naruto, Boruto, Ultimate Ninja, Storm Connections. I wonder what this is about. i seen one video. Well, I didn't watch the video, but i seen the title. And they were talking about that uh, it might be like a copy or a remastered. Let's see. Is it gonna connect like all of them and then have different and then have more? Me. Is it gonna connect now all of them and then have some people from Boruto 2 or is it I'll inherit my master's will? Or not? You can't defeat me. No matter what you become, 
We played a whole story from Uzumaki. Ooh, that's fire. That's fire. From like the first Naruto to like Shippuden to Boruto. Play a full story would be fire. Because usually it has like one story. Trust me. It kind of looks the same though. I don't know how much you would be able to change it up. No despair. Mm. You can't escape. How about this? You were. Move. I win. Don't underestimate the will of fire. I'll settle. See, for this game, right? They could have changed up the graphics. They could have made it look better, right? They could have changed up the the feel of the maps, but this shit is looking. I can see why it's shiny as another YouTuber said it, it might be a copy. I didn't watch the video, so I don't know if he said it's a copy. But like so far, it looks like. Uh, a copy of all the games just put into one, which in my view. Well, now is the hour of judgment. And then updated a little bit. The weak are this is the power of all the whole no. Here I go. I'll protect you to the Like end. I guess Think story mode the might be a little different. Yourself. Sweet dreams. How about this? You'll be eaten alive. Huh? Ah. Idiot. Catch. Lock on. No, I'll check the comments after this to see what they say. But like scroll. these maps Here look the same. From here forth, history will be spun again. No, all look the same. The Momoshiki battle is new, I'm pretty sure. Unless it wasn't a DLC that I didn't play. Like, New Ninjas joins. Oh, okay, that's me. That's fine. Indra and Asha. That's clean. Coming to you, brother. That's clean as fuck. That's clean. Oh, let's see. So basically, you took Ninja Storm Legacy, put it into one game, and added Ninja and Ashura to new characters and colors. That's what I was saying. I knew this would happen. I really hope there is more to this than there seems from the trailer. I bought every Storm and every bundle PS4 releases, so this is this. So this wouldn't be worth it for two characters. See, that's what I'm saying. Because I also almost bought, I bought every single one, right? And that's what it looks like, basically. Oh, I can't wait to play the same four games with two new characters in one of them. Like, I feel like it's just going to be the same games. Nothing changed up, really. And then maybe some new characters here or there, sadly, basically. You no, know, there will be Boruto characters such as Byron Mode, Naruto, and G-Gun. Probably, to be honest, all, just all Boruto characters will be in the game. I feel like it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be uh, all Naruto characters... Like Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and then Boruto. And then Boruto characters might come out as DLC. And then you gotta pay for those Boruto characters. I would hate that. And then they might have like a season pass type shit, right? I feel like that's what they might do. But, yeah. Let's see. Uh, this was another game I, that looks pretty cool. Baldur's E3. Ah, it looks interesting, so why not? Partial nudity. I'll tell you a Listen. story, true soul. My life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. I must finish what I started. Death's design will be complete. Discover Catherick's secret. Find out what it is that makes him invincible so we can strip him oh. of his advantage. So... Oh, that's some creative. Uh, I want to say... No, it's not. I, I was going to say kind of like a MOBA, but it's not. Is it turn base? Turn base free roam? A slave to forces you cannot comprehend. Oh, wow. Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. Together, we will strike down the uh, Hobbit. So it looks so it looks like you make one character and then you can get like other people to team up with. And then it's like turn base. I mean, it's interesting because because I like I do want 
want, I did want to play Twin Nation. August 31, 2023. I mean, it looks interesting. Let me see. So excited for this. I didn't even think it was coming to consoles, really. So I guess it's a card game. Oh, Magic. It's a Magic card game? Because it shows Magic right here. Because I did hear Magic. It's pretty good. Big card game. My console brethren will get to enjoy what was has been fantastic in early access on PC. Really? Damn. Thousand hours on PC alone, and I can't wait to pick up. Uh, people look excited for it. So it looks like it's going to be a good game. These eight YouTubers. Oh, and that's the last of it. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. There was other games like this, where it's like there's VR, right? I guess PlayStation is releasing a new VR, right? There was other stuff like this, but I didn't think I would really want to check those out because it's, it's whatever. I guess this is the... Uh, there's this, which I don't really care about. Humanity. Which I don't really care about. There, there wasn't any big games that caught my attention this time. Right? Because last time they had some big games, right? This time they got some okay games. Uh, Street Fighter is probably the most I'm looking, the one I'm looking forward to the most. Most of these other stuff is VR. Suicide Squad, um, uh, if it comes to PlayStation Plus Extra, like we all know it is like a year later, I'll play it as a story mode game for you guys. But other than that, uh, everything else is meh. Like, everything, like, I don't know, let me know. Let me know. Cause there wasn't no bangers like there was last. There was one banger and then everything else is made. But let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe. See you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night. And bye.